What's up? I am here for this, actually. So I do plan to swap over to the M56 valve cover. Um, one of the pre wrecks I was just doing right now, and that's, I'm all dirty already, but um, basically, last weekend, the uh, video that I posted, you could see the uh, O2 sensor, and I had the uh, wire ran up here, and it was zip tied to this line, and then kind of going over the valve cover. That wasn't going to work. You know what I mean? Like, just wasn't gonna work. So, I unbolted the OEM heat shield thing, and then I routed it under and through, and it was able to go through the back, through the firewall, and it's out of the way now. So, now to the valve cover. Uh, reason for this upgrade is the M52, M54, shit, even M50, M50 for S50, E36 on uh, engines. This is plastic. And over time, it does warp. So, my corners are lifting pretty much all the way around. And even though I put a new gasket and I put like silicone and all that, I still am getting leaks. So, with the metal valve cover, I shouldn't have that issue anymore. I uh, got the gasket, I've got the uh, wiring harness. My car actually came with a blown 2.8, so I already had the pencil coils ready to go. Um, another thing to note, I have mismatching coils throughout here, and I'm pretty sure that's the reason why my car just kind of runs like shit. So this would be a pretty good like upgrade overall, really, like in terms of pretty much everything. Uh, even I think the pencil coils are just stronger all all around. Also, um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna get to it. I mean, I want to at least start today, but I don't know if I have enough room to push back or push this into. You know, be able to close the garage, but we'll see. If I can't, I'll just push it outward, I guess. Um, let me get to removing a bunch of this, and then I will be right back. Or maybe uh, I'll try some YouTube magic. There it is. All right, so basically, all I did was just uh, remove the power cable. Remove the uh, coil pack harness. So now I'm going to take out the coil packs and then I'm going to undo all the bolts of the valve cover. Take it off, clean up all the uh, silicone that I put or whatever, and then maybe start tonight. I don't know yet. Uh, that's, that might be as far as I get tonight, to be honest. Kind of tired, so let's see where we go. Alright, I'm calling it a night. I did uh, swap out my my grills. I think the chrome is going to hit real hard with the uh, chrome wheels, but I'll be back bright and early in the morning. Alright, so I did remove the two rear ones. Um, the two rear nuts holding them on you want to call these nuts and you can tell this one's like covered in oil and i'm sure that's where my that one came off of over there pretty sure that's where my oil leak was coming from so yeah i'm gonna keep removing all this shit and be back back at it again um i've got a disaster going on everywhere but I'm not really needed inside anymore. We're painting and I'm just in the way, so came back to this. This went here, and then this bolted or plugged in here. So I took, I cut this off right here, and I plugged it right here. So now this will go in 
that vacuum is plugged. And then once that vacuum is plugged, like so. Boom. So now that's out of the way. I'll probably move this power cable back out this way. And yeah, so I can start removing all of this for the CCV because my new valve cover, like I said, has this piece that will connect directly into here. So I go from here to here and I can just delete the rest of the CCV so that it's out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna try and remove as much as I can now. Uh, valve cover is pretty much ready to go. I just need to remove it, but I wanna set myself up first, so be right back. So I guess it's worth noting, <sighs> this is part of the process too. You can see my uh, dipstick tube is out of the car. I had to remove all this shit. I wasn't gonna film that, because I mean, if you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing. Uh, that's one of the pre-wet, pre wrecks so I gotta cap this off, um, clean this up a bit, put the O-ring back on. The O-ring does get stuck in the the pan, so um, make sure you fish it out because it needs to go on here before it goes on there. So let me put the uh, cap on and then I'll show you when it's done. So that's capped. That's done. And just fish her on in. all this shit in the way but there it goes and there we go just like that ah, popped in that's popped in and I'm just gonna put that back in but I'm gonna keep trying to remove uh, some of this dissa shit so that I can get access to this. You can still see some of the shits in there. There it is, basically uh, done. I used um, this here to adapt the M56 one, right, to the hose, and then I used the old M54 one, and then I capped off this tube. And now, this should just be able to into place and there we go so I'm gonna get a real vacuum cap but for now the vacuum should pull that cap in so it won't go anywhere um, but yeah I mean that's it just gonna torque all these down get the uh, harness back in modify my harness to accept the new harness so I got a little bit of wiring to do let me get that done and then uh, I'll get everything back together. All right, so this is the part of all of this that's the fun part. So I gotta deep in all these hose because apparently um, the connections are a little bit different, the spots. So, pin all these, and then I put them in the right spot for my DME because I have an MS-43, this harness is for an MS-45, so just some of the ignition coils are a little bit differently spotted, replaced. So, I've got the wiring diagram here. Pin number one is coil number three. And I can check here, coil number three. Um, oh shit, I can just put this back in basically now. Anyways, that's number three. Or pin number one can be right here. And that one is black and yellow. So my black and yellow wire, which I did not detain. Two is black and red. Get that 
there. Number three is black and white. One, two, three. Number four is not used. Number four, five is ground for both, so that one's cool. Six is ground, which is not used on this harness. Um, I only have one ground. Um, this harness does have two grounds. You can see this is the uh, other ground wire. You don't need it. Pin number seven is coil six, which is black and purple. Black and purple. Number eight is black and green. Which is this one. Eight. And nine is black and blue. And just like that, we are Gucci. So that's done. Let's put this in. Now, gotta convert this. This is the plug for the MS45 harness. This is MS43. Or I'm not sure if it's exactly DME related, but that's just the way that I'm saying it is. This is the MS-43 harness, which has the shitty coils. This has the other coils. So, I'm just going to chop this here off. I'm going to chop this off. Obviously, ground with ground, red with red. Let's get this heat shrink. Remember, don't forget your heat shrink. into the car. This does have two ground wires versus the uh, other only had one.
right, so that is that's it. I'm beat. I'm fucking beat, bro. I've been up since like four seven. I need to just working on this shit. Take you guys in a little tour. Not. Yeah, so today has been a shit show in here. Got all the walls painted. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's a work in progress. I don't even know where the fuck I'm gonna sleep tonight, to be honest. But the show must go on. So, with that, uh, tomorrow's video or the next day or whatever. Um, Another thing I need to do is the window regulator, so I can get that finished up, finally. And then, um, should be good for a bit, I got my subframe reinforcement kit in, the mail, so I'll have Aaron hopefully well then. Might have to pay him a lot of money to come to me because we have to drop the subframe and his lift, it, I don't know what, what's going to happen. Anyways, um, thanks again for watching, you know the deal, like, comment, subscribe, if you enjoyed the uh, content. See you guys next time. When we slide this day, tap on dope. Ride on triple chrome, glide on new votes. Put up on a nigga around, baby, you win a rope. Playing with these drums, cause I got them sticks. Got them sticks. Trunk, bumping in the street, screwed up with my clip. Let them see how out they going out the blicks. blicks. Pray to God, right before I hit a lick. Hit a lick. Side with two forties when I cuss a chopper kick. I'm an alpha, but these niggas bugging nothing looks from tick.